guys. Uh, got the TS250 engine back into the frame, and I've got it mocked up so that I can uh, re weld the tabs up here. Uh, let me just kind of show you what my setup is. The, uh, all the bolts are tight except for the top one where the bracket is. They're, it's close to tight, but it's not completely. That seems to be the best place to get everything back where it was. And then I've got the, uh, the straps that run around here, or brackets, whatever you want to call it, pulled up with vice grips on both sides. So I'm going to tack along the top and then tack along the back here, and then I'll remove it to uh, finish it up. But that's kind of where we're at right now. That engine's a lot easier to handle without the, the uh, cylinder on it. So let me get fired up here and we'll see if we can tack this thing.
And I think we got her tacked up pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and take it back out. Oops. Get the right socket here would help. Still pretty warm back there. I'm going to put these on just in case I get a hold of something warmer than I want to play with. Okay, just give you a little view of what we've been doing. Some of them are just tacked. I got this one pretty good most of the way in this back here too, but the other side was a little tight for me. So I'm going to do that now. And then I'm going to finish up the, uh, the welds on the uh, kickstand repair. And it seemed to me like there was one other little spot I'd noticed. I think it's back here somewhere. All right. So let me get to that. All right. I've got it all welded up. And I just set it back in there to make sure it would still slide between the the brackets and all seems to be good. So I've got that done. I've got the uh, um, kickstand mount area done and uh, I, I think that's it for that. So just clean up a little bit and start some painting but I need some drier weather. It's been raining or snowing for oh, I guess the last week. Uh, now we're going to get to the paint. Uh, let me show you what I've already done here. Uh, I've got the, uh, got the swing arm and the uh, frame on both the Suzuki and the uh, uh, Yamaha. And I've set up 
out here on the on the bench with all the parts for the Suzuki this is what I'm going to do next and uh, I'm going to get back up here and go through my mixing I just use a uh, an acrylic enamel paint that uh, I get from the auto parts or the, actually a, a custom painting outfit <clears throat> and uh, it's a little more durable than rattle can stuff and this uh, this is just a uh, a gloss black uh, acrylic enamel one stage single stage paint and it mixes out at uh, 8 to 1 to 1 I'm going to mix up a whole bunch because it is about $50 a quart but it is more durable I can spray it in my little gun here <clears throat> so we've got, got our hardener Just a touch of reducer. give it a little stir this should be more than enough to it's got a pretty long pot life so I can I can do one side all these parts and then uh, just set it aside clean my gun of course but uh, set the paint aside and in a couple hours come back and and finish my painting it'll be dry pretty quick uh, probably within 30 minutes at the most and you know just in minutes to touch but you do not want to put that back in the can after you put hardener in it you'll have a bunch of hard paint and don't forget your respirator when you're doing this stuff because this all this paint is really nasty Hey, we've got the first coat on and uh, I know somebody's going to wonder how come I didn't use any primer and uh, the fact of the matter is Suzuki didn't use it, Yamaha didn't use it, they just spray the spray the uh, parts black so if it's uh, good enough for that it's good enough for me So there's our first coat and in just a couple hours or so then we'll turn it all over and, uh, and finish the job. I don't think we'll need another coat. We'll just need to paint the other sides. All right, let's uh, assemble the frame here a little bit and get the swing arm on. I've already uh, driven in the uh, first homemade bushing that I made and the first or the second thing you need to do is make sure you don't leave the spacer out 
that's the next thing that needs to go in there. Uh, when I was plating all the parts, I went ahead and plated everything so it'll have some kind of uh, corrosion resistance. And we just verify that our bolt will go through everything. So we Hmm. You know what? I think I may have to trim off my uh, trim this bushing off just a little bit. Let me do that real quick. All right, got this uh, trimmed off a little bit. I'm not going to take it back through the plater, so I just I just wrap put some good waterproof grease on it there. Should be good, good enough for me. And then we get ready to kind of get our other one, other bushing started here. They are interference fit, but they go right in. Let's see, I've got washers yet to put on this. Just checking the fit. Looks good. Okay, we've got our... Uh, our little dust covers here. I took those apart and uh, put new O-rings in and just cleaned them up good and greased them. And those fit over the edge of the bushing there. Oops, I guess we better put those bushings in. Let me uh, get that done first. Put some grease on them. Good greasy stuff. Put a little more on there to kind of hold those on. Okay, I think I got all the parts in here that it's supposed to be here. If I can keep them there. Got the dust covers, got the bushings, and uh, new O-rings there. Let's see if it'll go in here. Yeah, looks like it's about right. Okay, put a little grease on the swing arm, and I don't remember which way this went. tap here. Oh. Use plastic hammer for just about everything. If you can fix it with that, then you don't need a steel one. Alright. There's our swing arm. Loosely start the nut. I'll have to take take a look at when I took it apart and see which way this goes, but I think I think that's right. If it's not, we'll turn it around. All right, we've got our uh, springs all painted up. We've got the uh, uh, shocks freshly out of the metal rescue. 
removes the rust and everything pretty good that's on them. Uh, these look like brand new. I'm sure there's limits to it, but uh, it, it usually does a really good job for me. So let's get with the homemade spring compressor and put these shocks together and get them on the bike. Okay, again, here's a here's a shot of them. All the uh, the adjuster, the spring cushion, and we've got the uh, not sure what that guide may be. I don't know. It's supposed to go on there anyway, and we'll get that into. The spring compressor, small coils down, make sure our rod's extended. There we go. That can be a finger getter. If you let it let it do it to you. Just works like it's supposed to. Okay, meet you over at the bike. Okay, I got quite a bit going on over here. I've got uh, I've got a rim in the uh, metal rescue. I'm probably not going to use that rim, but I'll clean it up and probably put it on eBay. The uh, I've got a brand new one for it. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, I prefer to do that, but that's a serviceable one. Okay, let's. Uh, we've got our washers on the back side here, and we just want to make sure that we've got this oriented so that we can adjust it. We don't want it on the inside otherwise. I'm going to have to compress this one a little bit. And I'm probably going to have to smack that one a little bit, but it'll go on there. And we've got our washers and our acorn nuts. And those, we've got a lot of other stuff that bolts on there, so we're not going to tighten them up. Tap it a little bit with our plastic hammer and our washers, acorn nuts. And 
And something else we can put on back here is our footrest. I believe the long one goes on the exhaust side. I think that's the purpose of that extra length. But if we need to move them, we'll move them. And what I did, um, I replated all this stuff. I, I, if you watched the TC125 series, you saw me uh, with one video of where I zinc coat and another one I believe where I do some nickel coating or nickel plating. So it just makes it look nicer and if you get a little bit of rust you get rid of that and have a nice coating on it. So uh, if you'd like to know more about that, uh, slide over to that, uh, that video and take a peek at it. And I didn't show it, but I did install the the bearings, and I've got the triple tree installed. Uh, everything's loose, but it's just it's there. So uh, I really was not anticipating doing a front wheel on this bike. I thought it was in better shape. But I've got, I bought a bunch of those wheels, different sizes, out of Taiwan, or actually it wasn't Taiwan, where was that? Um, overseas somewhere. And uh, I, I try to keep enough of them on hand because they're kind of hard to come by. Uh, Thailand, that's where it came from. So I've got that, but I had to get a set of spokes. Suzuki still says they have them available. This is for the rear wheel. I was planning on doing the rear. So we'll see here in a week or so whether or not they show up. If they don't, uh, the nipples are really bad on the ones I took out. So I don't know whether I can do anything with them. So I'll probably have to end up uh, ordering a set from Buchanan. But I've got it all disassembled. Here's the, here's the hub. Got the wheels, the tires all to the ready there, and we've got this all set up. So things are kind of starting to come together on the TS250. Uh, I think that's all I've got going right now. So we've we've gotten the uh, um, the welding done, the painting done. A uh, couple other things, the shocks, the, the triple tree. So I think that's going to just about get us to where we're at and uh, as far as the video goes. And we'll probably, uh, you know, and we get the swing arm on, the bushings, everything installed there. So I'm not sure where I'm going to go next. I think it's probably going to be the fork rebuild. So stand by for that I've got everything I've got the I think I've got everything I've got the uh, slide the uh, dust covers and the seals and unless I have something else that's uh, that I don't know about in there uh, I've got what I need for that so thanks for going along on the ride see you next video